I'm Father Robert Ballas here, the digital Jesuit host of This Week in Enterprise Tech here at Enterprise Connect 2017 in Orlando, Florida. I have the privilege of speaking with Mr. Kenny Wyatt. He is the Chief Revenue Officer at Vonage Business. Kenny, thank you very much for speaking with Robert, us. Robert, thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Uh, this has been an exciting week for Vonage. You made a few announcements at the start of the show. Uh, yeah. Can you tell me what new things are in the Vonage universe? Yeah, so as we continue to think about uh, this convergence of the UCAS set of products, which we're known well uh, in the industry as a, as, as a leader of that product set, uh, moving the convergence into the cloud, along with our CPAS set of products, we announced, in fact, just this morning, um, yet another uh, workplace productivity tool that we are combining those two, th those two uh, technologies together. So we announced this morning Zoho CRM. So now not only can you interface uh, and integrate, if you will, the UCAS product, our best in class cloud product, uh, with workplace uh, productivity tools such as Zoho, but now you can also start to make voice and SMS calls directly from that experience, right, with the power of CPaaS. Uh, so that you have a much richer customer experience, so that our customers, our clients, uh, can engage even deeper with, with their clients in a more rich way. Now, you've had the ability to walk the floor far more than I have. I've, I've been bound to this booth, and, and you've seen what's happening on the floor. You've seen some of the new trends, some of the new technology, some yeah. of the new offerings. It's exciting. Have you seen any sort of direction that the UC industry is heading? Yeah, you know, it's interesting because, um, you know, we've been talking about this acceleration to the cloud really for several years. If you've been coming to EC for quite some time, you know that we've been talking about but as you look around even this floor, what you see is a lot of brand new technologies, including the integration of AI into the customer experience, uh, including, as I mentioned, CPaaS, the ability to have a richer customer uh, interaction, uh, to know your customer in a deeper way through technologies like CPaaS. Frankly, the only way in the future you're really going to be able to take advantage of that in a real-time basis and to be able to get uh, kind of real-time integration of all those technologies uh, is going to be in the cloud. And so uh, this acceleration to the cloud has really, really been interesting, an interesting theme, if you will, of the show. The second key thing I, I tell you that I, I picked up on this year has been business outcomes, right? It, 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 the use cases are really starting to become defined because if you think about it, the collection of technologies on this floor are interesting, but not terribly relevant until they solve a problem. And the problem that we continue to solve on the UCAS side has been primarily cost structure, moving from things like CapEx to OpEx. But now we're starting to see use cases of how do we, in, how do we generate incremental revenue through productivity, like wor workplace tools such as Zoho CRM we, we announced this morning. How do you have a deeper and richer customer experience? How do you create a stickier customer experience through things like CPaaS, right? And so the use cases are really starting to, in my mind, become more in focus. Uh, which is really the power of the technology that uh, I think is happening at EC this year. And, and really that's the maturation of the industry, going exactly from right. offering tools to offering solutions. That's exactly right. Yeah. Now, I, I have to ask this, because Vonage, of course, has a name. Right. You, were, you were one of the first out there making a name for yourself in, in IP telephony. And on one sense, that's good. You've got the brand recognition. On the other sense, you're doing all these wonderful things on the enterprise side, right. from your API right. to your UCAS service. And I'm, I'm wondering, is it ever difficult to, to wean people away from this idea that, that Vonage is only about the home and the small office? No, I'd say, um, I'd say it's actually an advantage, right? I, I've, been at, I've been at the company now for seven weeks, right? So I'm relatively new to the organization. And so one of the things that attracted me to this brand, this company, the vision, uh, really is that, right? If, if you think about Vonage as the brand, um, it was known as, and still is today, known as a, a very much of a disruptive force uh, in, in at then, then the, the voice over IP industry. Uh, really a, a kind of a, uh, a leader in, in disrupting that entire industry. Uh, yes, it happened on the residential side, uh, but the good news is we have, a, we have brand awareness around Vonage uh, that translates nice, nicely into first SMB, where most of the adoption happened uh, early in, in our industries, uh, as you know, uh, but moving into the enterprise space. Uh, as we've made strategic acquisitions, we've made six of them over the last uh, couple of years, not only in the UCAS space up and down the stack as it relates to SMB all the way to enterprise, but also moving back into work, workflow tools, moving forward into customer communications such as CPaaS. Uh, we're, we're, we're using the power of that brand to show customers how we can be disruptive 
in their environments to, to create better business outcomes. And that really is, what, frankly, what attracted me to Vonage to go help lead the organization, uh, but also what we can offer our customers today in the enterprise space, in the SMB space, no matter where they are in their journey to the cloud, we can help them, we can help them get there. So Vonage is disruptive, Vonage is innovative, Vonage is in the enterprise space, but where will Vonage be in 2018? Coming back to Enterprise Connect 2018, I'm, I'm assuming yeah. that we'll see Vonage again. Yeah. We'll, we'll hear all sorts of wonderful announcements. Right. Could you look into your crystal ball and maybe give us a little prognostication? Yeah. What's going to happen when Vonage comes back? What's going to be the, the key killer feature that you'll be bringing to uh, the floor? I think we continue to delight the industry with the amount of innovation we bring on a regular basis. Uh, this, this morning's announcement being one of them, but one of many. Uh, we, we, we continue to delight the industry with the amount of innovation we're bringing to the marketplace. And frankly, uh, the leadership position we continue to take in the marketplace. I think if I, if I fast forward a year from now, uh, there's a few things you'll, you'll see. I think you'll see uh, use cases continue to evolve. Because again, what matters to our customers is help me increase revenue, help me manage my cost structure, help me to, to create a stickier customer experience for my own customers so that I can have, uh, you know, again, a deeper, richer customer experience or, or, or customer interaction with them. Uh, and so I think as you fast forward in a year, uh, you'll see even more use cases than what we've already announced. You'll see even tighter integration between the, our CPaaS product communicating with customers in our UCAS product, communicating with employees, all tied into these workflow tools uh, to make it yeah, even more streamlined in the cloud in order to do business. Kenny, thank you very much for your time. Thank you for the information about Vonage. Uh, if they wanted to find out more about Vonage business, more about what you can do for their next deployment, where should our audience go? Absolutely. Uh, we've got a fantastic website, www.vonage.com. Uh, we're obviously on Facebook and on Twitter. You name the social outlet, uh, we're there. Uh, we'll be happy to, uh, to, to engage in any conversation customers would like to have as they journey to the cloud. Thank you, Kenny. Thanks, Robert. Cheers. And thanks to you for staying with us. We are still going to be bringing you more from Enterprise Connect 2017.